Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N R. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the ATI T Study Manual, the sixth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 100. And 30, and we are on page number 81. Please turn to it. Page number 81. Make sure the book is in front of you. Turn to page 81 and read the problem with me. The problem, as I put on the blackboard, is not verbatim. I just I just put down the gist of it, but the actual problem you will find in front of you on page 81. It says, How many dollars? So I'm I'm reading from page 81 on the top of page 81, not the exercise, not the exercises. Not the exercises at the bottom, but the very very top one here. That's what we're doing here. Read it with me. It says, how many dollars do I get for my allowance? Ask the young boy. The young boy asked his father, how many dollars do I get for my allowance every week? How many dollars do I get for my allowance? And the father's reply was, well, if I gave you $12 more than three times your current allowance, if I give you $12 more than three times your current allowance, you will still have less than $19. That's what we have here. And this falls under the category, the topic is expressions, equations, and inequalities. That's what we are dealing with, how to arrive at the correct expressions. Once we have the expression, then we have to determine whether we are dealing with an equation or an inequality. We'll find out in a second. So let's first come up with the right expression. The very first thing we need to do when we're trying to state something in the language of algebra, this is written in English language, we have to state the same statement in the language of algebra. And in doing so, the very first thing that we must do, always, 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 is to define our variable, define our unknown. The unknown here is the weekly allowance. We do not know what the weekly allowance is. That's our unknown. Let's give it a name. Okay, so here's the solution. The first thing, one more time, I'm going to read here the way it is written on the blackboard. It says, if I gave you $12 more than 3 times your allowance, you would still have less than $19. So here's the solution. The first thing we have to do is to define our variable. Let's give it a name. Let's call it with X dollars. Let's list X dollars be the weekly allowance. But there is nothing wrong with it. There is absolutely nothing wrong with it calling it X. But I want you to understand that algebra is just not made up of X's. People tend to think that everything in the book, uh, algebraic book is just a bunch of X's. It's just a name for the variable. I prefer to give a name that's a bit more logical. A bit more logical. We're dealing with the unknown here. The unknown here is the weekly allowance, isn't it? That's our unknown. The weekly allowance is the unknown. Let W dollars, let that W dollars let W dollars be the weekly allowance. Instead of calling it X, let's call it W. It seems more logical to me. Now, let's look at three times the amount. Three times, three times your weekly allowance. Well, the weekly allowance is W dollars. That's what I get for a, for a week. W represents some quantity. We do not know what it is, but it's a number. We don't know what it is. W could be 15, it could be 20, it could be 25, it could be $10. Maybe I'm getting $10 per week. Maybe I'm getting $7 per week. Maybe my parents are giving me dollar a day. W equals 7 in that case. W represents my weekly allowance. We want 3 times the allowance. Oh, that's very easy. 3 times the allowance is this, this quantity right here. 3W is same as 3 times W. That's my, this amount that we just wrote here represents 3 times the weekly allowance. They go on to say that we need to have $12 more than that. If I gave you $12 more than 3 times your allowance, this is my 3 times the allowance. He giving me, he's giving me $12 more. Well, how do I represent that? Well, he's giving me $12 more. There we go. This quantity that we have here is the amount that represents $12 more than 3 times my weekly allowance. They go on to say that this amount that you see here, if I gave you $12 more than 3 times your allowance, 
you would still have less than $19. This amount that you see here would still be less than $19. Voila, we are dealing with an inequality, not an equation. It doesn't say, it doesn't say, if I give you $12 more than three times your weekly allowance, the amount you will have is such and such. It doesn't say that. It says you will still have less than $20. There you go. That's, that's the inequality we are dealing with here. Now in the book, in the book it says, actually it doesn't really say anything. They just want you to come up with the expressions. That's all they want. They just want the expressions. If you look at the bottom of the page, on page 81, there are three practice problems. And you will see there, they just want you to come up with the expressions. They don't want to actually, they don't want us to actually solve for the value of W. This is it. As far as the exam is concerned, this is the expression among the four answer choices. You will pick the one that looks like this. But just for the hell of it, just, just for learning purposes, you can actually solve this thing, find out what W is. Shall we? Let's do it, shall we? It's not required in the book. We're going to do it just for the fun of it. So, we need to separate the W by itself. The very first thing we need to do is get rid of this 12 here. We do so by subtracting 12 from both sides. There's nothing different than if you were dealing with an equation. Whatever you do in the, in the, in the, when you're dealing with an equation is what we do here. The positive 12 we have here, and that was the whole point. The reason we subtracted 12 is because we want a positive and a negative. They're going to kill each other. And here, 19, which is a positive, minus a 12 gives us 7. You would think that's that side. What are we left here on this side? On this side we have 3w. 3w comes down and this inequality sign comes down. Let's divide both sides by 3 so we can have the w by itself. 3's are going to cancel out and it tells me that my weekly allowance is less than 7, th seven, seven thirds. My weekly allowance is less than 7 thirds. Whatever it is, is less than 7 thirds. Now 7 thirds we know 7 third is we know is simply 6 third plus a third. That's what a 7 third is. A 7 third is simply a 6 third and a third. 6 thirds are 2. If you have thirds, 1 third, 2 third, 3 thirds. 3 thirds are 1. If you have third and a third and a third, that's 1. If you have another set of 3 thirds, now we have 6 thirds. 6 thirds are 2. So it turns out this amount is 2 and this is 1 third. It turns out that my weekly allowance is less than and one third dollar. I still don't know what my weekly allowance is, but I do know that it is less than whatever my weekly allowance is, is less than two dollars and thirty three cents. Who knows, maybe maybe I'm getting two dollars and thirty cents. That's, that's the answer here. So your weekly allowance, whatever it is, is less than two dollars and thirty three cents. That's it. Two dollars and 33 cents and my weekly allowance is less than that you understand here here is perfectly okay to put an equal sign here here is perfectly okay to put an equal sign because we're claiming we're claiming that this quantity is equal to this quantity which it is which in turn is equal to this quantity but this this and this they're all greater than w in other words w is less than this guys. If you give me two dollars and thirty-three cents, that's more than what I'm supposed to get. My weekly allowance, whatever it is, is less than two dollars and thirty-three cents. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.